Gukesh, very solid win today. Congratulations. What are the percentage of you winning the entire thing? Um, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a good start, but uh, still a long way to go. So let's see. What is your mindset like going into this forum? Because you look like a very calm person during the match. Uh, I try to not show any emotions, but of course there's there's always uh, some nerves playing and yeah. But I uh, learned to handle it uh, uh, relatively well. How was the World Cup experience for you? Stepping back a little bit from this tournament and talking about your summer because you are now Indian number one. Uh, the the World Cup was uh, quite good. Um, the quarterfinals match against Magnus was tough, but uh, overall it was good. And also, I uh, I became the India number one in in that tournament, which is a very special achievement for sure. But it was your goal, right? You knew you would you would get there. Yeah, for a few months already, I knew I uh, I would make it sooner or later. And yeah, but still, I'm very happy with that achievement. Are you now aiming for the world number one? Uh, that has always been my goal, so, yeah. How much would you have to work, though, to get down someone like Magnus? He's not competing, but he's still the GOAT, right? He's not competing in the world match. Uh, yeah, he's still uh, clearly the best player in the world right now, and maybe even of all times. So, uh, it's a huge challenge, and a lot of work is needed, but I think I, uh, I have the potential, and... If I do all the right things, I think I can make it. You say if you do all the right things, could you, let's say, list some of the right things that are important to do to get there? Uh, well, just keep learning and correct my mistakes and just improve uh, day by day as, as a chess player and a person. And yeah, just hope for the best. Correct your mistakes. Do you have any mistakes? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> would you share some of them? I mean, like, I'm. everyone makes mistakes and it's, um, yeah, I just meant as a, as a, as chess mistakes. So, of course, I have a lot of uh, weaknesses and I'll try to correct them and just keep, uh, keep getting better. Right. Okay. You don't want to say us your secrets. That's totally fine. Um, my next question for you is, what do you think about Hans Niemann returning back to uh, online chess? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, Let's say, do you have any opinion? Are you excited to be playing Hans in title events again online or not? Well, I... Uh, I don't play much online chess anyway, like for the last couple of years already I haven't played much. But uh, if, uh, if people think it's, uh, uh, it's good for chess, then uh, I don't have much experience in this online things. So yeah, I, I don't want to have any opinion without proper uh, information or knowledge. So. But yeah, let's see how, how it goes. So you mentioned you don't play that much online. Is that because it's somehow affects the level of the classical play? Is that the conscious decision you took in order to favor your classical chess? Yeah, I don't, uh, after the lockdown started, I, I used to play online for some time, but then after the tournaments, the OTB tournaments started resuming, I thought playing online uh, should take a, a back step and I should focus on the classical events. And uh, yeah, I'm, it's not to say that I'm not focusing on Rapid and Blitz. I've started doing so recently, but uh, online also I don't enjoy as much as over the board. So it's more of a, a personal preference for me. So you definitely prefer uh, over the board Blitz games over online games like ones here? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, let me ask you one more question. So uh, you don't play online, but chess in India is so popular. Do you do any online chess content? Uh, yeah, chess is uh, recently, for a, for the last two years already, it's uh, in, po getting popularized uh, um, gradually and now it's it's a huge thing in India and all around the world. Um, I, I, I do go on streams, give interviews, but um, I don't really have any plans for you know, starting to stream or uh, doing any online chess content.
What about um, social media like Instagram? Yeah, I do have my accounts, but it's not handled by me. It's handled by my team. So, yeah. so you try to kind of block yourself from all this world, right? Distractions. Yeah, I'm not very active on social media personally, and uh, I I do check from time to time, and if something something important comes up, my uh, my team manages to uh, get it to me, but I don't spend a lot of time uh, on the on the social media. Okay, well, um, here's goes very provocative question. Um, can you tell me, Vidit Gujarati is weaker than you? Uh, okay. As a chess player, um, he's very strong, but uh, I think I'm stronger than him. What makes you stronger than him? <laughs> I don't know how to answer these questions. <laughs> um, you can answer in Hindi. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, a lot of things, I guess, like. I mean, there's not a particular um, thing that makes a strong player. I mean, it's a lot of things together. And like opening preparation? Well, openings, of course, is a very well-known opening theoretician. But uh, I can't say anything particular. It's just, I think, in general, yeah. Okay. Well, Gukesh, thank you so much. And lots of luck in your second match. Yeah, thank you so much.